Hey everybody, this is going to be part two of the Image Comic stuff. It's coming out in July. So some of it's going to be advanced solicited as well, I've seen. So let's go through this so you can see what's coming out. Hopefully you enjoy these. Like I said, I'm having fun doing this stuff. So let's go through this and see what we got. We got Spawn Origins, Volume 11, hardcover. I like trade paperbacks and hardcovers and stuff like that, especially if it's got good stories. And that's an awesome cover there. Very cool. Looks windy out there. <laughs> That's cool. So hopefully they come out with a good movie. If they come out with one again, and I like the cartoon, and that was pretty wild. But I like to the, hopefully they come out with a nice live action as well. This one's August seventeenth, and it's going to be uh, superheroes and advanced solicit. So this is it collects Spawn one twenty six one thirty eight through one thirty eight. Okay, this collected edition reprints tw twelve classic Spawn issues and beautiful hard oversized hardcover format with uh, bonus material it says hmm. contains celebrated art and writing that helps cement the spawn legacy including the hyper detailed artwork of Angel Medina very cool and we got Stray Dogs Dog Days trade paperback this comes out July 20th horror and that one was superheroes we got Stray Dogs this is very cool I knew something was good about this when I saw this at the beginning. Hopefully, they're going to come out with a movie or something with that. It's going to be. It's not for kids though, so it it, it can be pretty uh, deceiving the way they do that. I've come out with heroes and stories like this, drawing it real cartoony, but it was more serious stuff. So it's kind of weird when you see it like that. Okay, this is Dog Days collects issues one and two, plus the Stray Dogs um, free comic book day prologue. Wow. The follow-up to 2021 surprise cartoon uh, horror smash hit, Stray Dogs. In Dog Days, each of the Stray Dogs gets their moment to shine with a series of vicious short stories. Questions are answered, mysteries are solved, and old wounds get torn open. This genre-bending thrill ride takes the reader from the first dog the master captured to the final moments while at his house of horrors. Man. Okay, now we got vacation reading, travel one and done, make for the perfect summer reading. All these different trade paperbacks they got coming out, or they're out, you can order them. See retailers, you got to get the retailers. See order form for details. Okay. Now we got Beware the Eye of Odin, number two of four. That's a wild cover. This is July 27th. Fantasy mythology retelling, it says. Helgi, Stiger, Cad Cadlin, and a mouse are being hunted by a troll witch doctor and his mutated minions through the shadows of Shiverwood Forest. Their only hope of escaping the troll's dark magic? Find the earthen smiths of lore. Ooh, okay. Now we got Bloodstained Teeth number four. The first one was pretty wild. I find out what's going on and it, it, how it ended. Wow. So if you're reading this, let me know about this. But this one, okay, Bloodstained Teeth, July 20th, tomorrow. It's crime and mystery and horror. Okay, here's a variant down here. Cover B. That's pretty wild there too. Okay, let's read this. It's a bad trip when Atticus Sloan gets trapped inside the memory palace of Dr. Now. A vampire who feeds not just on blood, but on memories themselves. Wow, that's different. Okay. Can Atticus escape before his consciousness is consumed forever? Hmm. We'll shall see. Now we got the closet, number two of three. That's a cool cover. It's different. It's pretty small. It's a trim size 6.5 by 10.5, or 10.1. July 6th, it's out. It's horror. Okay. As Tom continues the cross-country move with his son, Jamie, they stop at a friend's place for the night on their journey west. Young Jamie, in bed early, quickly realizes he is not alone, and the creature from his nightmares continues to chase him. So is he sleeping, or did the creature come out? That's pretty wild. Wow. Okay, the Department of Truth, number 20. Department of Truth, there's the main cover there. Then we got this cover B there, or cover C. So there must be, okay, I can see there's cover B there and cover C. 
So they got the different artists and everything on them. So there's three covers. They only put one there. I'm surprised they didn't fit it down here. They do that on other stuff. Put them all on there. Unless he doesn't have it done yet. We'll see. This comes out July 27th next week. So it's horror and thriller. And he didn't have it done by the time they printed this, maybe. Cole Turner has come face-to-face -face with many horrors since enlisting with the Department of Truth. But as he learns more and more about the long-simmering war between duty and the Ministry of Lies, he must grapple with the greatest horror of all, that he may have pledged allegiance to the wrong side. Wow. This is for mature readers. So is this closet one and bloodstained teeth. And this one's teen, the, the, the wear, the wear the Eye of Odin. Okay, now we got do a power bomb number two of seven. That's cool. Main cover and then a cover B there. Comes out July 20th tomorrow. Action and adventure, fantasy and science fiction. Okay, this is Lana Stellrose or Still Rose is brought to another dimension and given an opportunity that could change everything. Will she join the Death Life Tournament? Mm hmm. Cool. Eight Billion Genies. I love this first book of this one. This is number three. This came out July 13th last week. I gotta make sure I go get pick this one up because um, this is good. I might have picked it up already. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. I have to check my books and see if I picked it up. But um, this comes out July 13th. Yes, science fiction. Okay, we explore the first eight days after eight billion genies appeared on Earth, offering one wish to every man, woman, and child. The wish-proof Lampwick Tavern has provided a safe haven for our eight heroes so far, but now they must undertake a crucial mission into a world utterly remade by frivolous and bizarre wishes. With a special appearance from history's most famous drunkards. <laughs> All right. There's supposed to be option in this off our movie, so number one, it's hard to get for anything less than 30 bucks. So we got uh, Farmhand number 19. Pretty wild cover there. Something spooky this way comes. This is July 20th. Dystopian horror and humor. Local demon-possessed woman, Monica Thorne, wants the corpse of Ezekiel Jenkins' mother. No, you can't have her. Probably not for anything good, it says. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either. Okay, now we got Firepower number 22. This came out on July 6th. I'm behind. I got to get these because I like this. Robert Kirkman. And there's a variant cover. See how they, they put out all the covers here? So the other guy must not have had his done yet by the time they printed this. And these are cool. The Michael Finch covers. Kind of like the Walking Dead ones. With the faces and everything. Okay, this uh, it's action and adventure. Owens' search for his old masters continues. But not every reunion is a happy one. Wow. Okay, now we got Gunslinger Spawn number 10. That's a cool cover there. Cover A. I guess we got cover B, but it's not on here. July 20th, Superheroes. Everyone always assumed Gunslinger was one of the weakest of the Hell's, Hell's Bonds. Now he is able to show them just how wrong they are. Wow. Okay, and then we got Hell Cop number 9. And this looks like um, it's after Magnolia. I saw this down here. But um, I don't know if he asked him could he use the font or what. I don't know. I guess you can do that. But this is like the cover. And then we got a variant down here. So that's that. Let's see. We got uh, July 20th, horror and science fiction. A brave new world. Just when Virgil thinks he has plane 1307-A under control, a new breakthrough in planar technology sends him down the rabbit hole and into Wonderland. That's why I was looking at that. Literally. Now he has a whole new terrifying world to navigate and a deranged Red Queen to keep contained. <laughs> okay, now I hate this place, number three. What's going on with this one? Screams from under the under the earth. This is kind of like, um... I hate Fairyland. Now they got the adult word here instead of I hate and it's a different word there so uh, this comes out July 27th horror supernatural and it's good it's very very good and yes it creeped me the F out and I loved every page so that's Patrick Bauer from Challengers Comics and Conversation okay at their wits end Gabby and Trudy have called on to 
called on the help of famous ghost hunter Dante Howitzer, but can he actually help with the mysterious and terrifying phenomena of occupying, occupying this land? Mm. Or will he find out exactly why the woods are off limits? Maybe that. <laughs> okay, we got Ice Cream Man number 32. July 27th is Horror. That's a cool cover there. Black and white lines and everything, hash marks. It's cover B. Okay, we got Horror. It's Recovery. Doug's going to try real hard to get and stay sober, it says. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we got image number four of 12, the anthology. Comes out July 13th, so it's out, anthologies. Our year-long celebration of Image Comics' 30th anniversary continues. We got different stories in there, the blizzard, red stitches. We got Kaya, shift. Okay, all, thing, all the things we didn't do last night. <laughs> Makeshift, Patriot, and Billy Dogma, and Stupid Fresh Mess by Scotty Young. I did all the different writers and everything in there. So we got Philadelphia number 24, jumps out, comes out July 27th. Crime and Mystery, Horror, Supernatural. That's a wild cover there. And cover B and C. Look at this thing down here. Wow. Okay, The End of All, Part 6. The sold-out Eisner Award-nominated horror series rages on with more mind-bending twist. Wow. Okay, George Washington, the first president of the United States and the one true vampire king, has stepped out of the shadows to take, a, take back America and remold it into something far more wicked. Okay, now James Sangster and son must find a way to stop the undead commander-in-chief. But it will cost, and will there, and will there even be an America to, left to save after he's done? Wow. Okay, we got King Spawn number twelve. That's a cool cover. It comes out July thirteenth, so that's out. Superheroes. This is it. The final confrontation between Spawn and Black Azriel. Will Spawn take the crown or doom the world instead? Then we got Lazarus Risen number seven. That's cool. July 27th, tomorrow, or next week. Uh, action and Adventure Science Fiction. Fraction 2, or Fracture 2, Conclusion. Forever, Carlisle was the Lazarus of her family. Until now. Wow. Now we got Little Monsters. Number 5. Cool. Just a plain, just a, just a simple circle there, like kind of like bloodshot. Then we got the cartoony one there, cover B. Okay, now we got this comes out July sixth. Drama and science fiction. Previously, the long, the young vampires find, found themselves in a human compound, and it ended in a bloody mess. Now they're running from the wreckage. They split into two groups: one helping the young human Laura, the other being hunted by an unknown assailant. All right. Now we got Metal Society number three of five. Cool cover. Variant down there. Cover B. Comes out July 6th. Drama, fantasy, and science fiction. The training begins after Rosa publicly accepts WOL 421313's challenge. Both fighters set out to train with their respective coaches. But while human leaders encourage Rosa to focus more on playing human spokesperson, for humanity's image, W.O.L. is compelled to dramatically upgrade himself in order to win at all costs. Wow. Now we got New Masters number five of six. Cool. July 13th. Let's see. This comes out. It's a fantasy. With the rest of the crew captured, Ola and Denari are forced to flee Tosin's elite agents. They escape into the dense jungle of Benin and fight their way to the sanctuary of a star pilot temple. But it isn't long before the pursuers catch up with them. Ooh. Okay. Now we got public domain number two. Comes out July 27th. It's humor. 
After last issue's bombshell revelation, the Dallas brothers turned to, to the one person who can save them, Sammy Sockham. <laughs> Note to spec speculators, this is the first appearance of Sammy Sockham. All right. Now we get Radiant Black number 17. Oh, this is cool. Cover A and there's cover B and cover C. This looks like a... Uh, can't be... It would say foil if it was foil, but I don't think it's foil. Looks cool, though. Okay, let's see what this is. This comes out July 27th. Okay, science fiction and superheroes. Marshall faces down a gauntlet of enemies, each more determined than the last to take the Radiant from him by any means necessary. Uh-oh, he needs a miracle. Will the unexpected appearance of Radiant Yellow be enough to turn the tide? So that's what that is. There must be a new one there. So there's three. You got black, red, and yellow now. Okay, here's the end of a story arc for this one, this or a mini-series, Radiant Red, number uh, 505. Cover A, and here's cover B here. Okay, it comes out July 20th, tomorrow. Science fiction and superheroes. With the job done, it's time to get out. But as the plan crumbles around her and her worlds collide, so Tommy will be forced to make a final impossible choice. Her old life or her new one? Hmm. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, number 10. Wow. Comes out July 27th. Crime and Mystery and Thriller. Okay, Sonny and Xavier recover from the nightmare. But how much horror can someone endure and still find peace on the other side? The damage is done. Can they put the pieces back together? I don't know. Wow. Okay, now we got Rogue Sun number six. Cool cover. Cover A, and there's cover B right here. Okay, this comes out July 27th, next week. Superheroes. When the monster that killed his father comes for him, it's going to take Dylan's everything Dylan's learned just to survive. Can he succeed where his father fell? Or will Cataclysm claim the life of another rogue son? Hmm. We got Savage Dragon number 263, resolicited. One cover there, and then we got a cover B here. Shark Attack, it says, July 6th. So it's out, superheroes. Mako the Shark Man is out for blood. Savage Dragon comes with our highest possible recommendation. They always keep saying that, so it must be good. I know some of the other stories I've read that he's done. Eric Larson's a really good writer. Pretty wild stuff that he does. The Scorched, number eight. Okay, this comes out July 27th in Superheroes. Here's the cover right here. Very cool. Now, she's supposed to be coming out with an action figure pretty soon. I know the other ones are out. But um, he was one of the ones in the contest I did, so he was won by somebody. I can't remember exactly who won it, but that was cool. But she's, um, you can pre-order her. She's um, solicited in the, on, over on Amazon. Okay, let's see. The Scorch team has taken a few knocks recently, and someone on the team has had enough. Is this the end of the Scorched? Mm. Now we get Seven Sons, number two of seven. Cover here. Very cool. Wild looking. July 20th, science fiction, thriller. Mature. Okay. And so it's Savage Dragon. Okay, mature. Jay Lee returns to create her own comics with his first new title since 1994. A seven issue limited series. In issue two, Epp introduces his sheltered brother, Delph, to the pleasures of the outside world while questioning their existence and the nature of the Church of the Seven. Okay, now we got the silver corn number 12. That's pretty wild. Wow. We went a cover B right there. July 20th, tomorrow. Horror. It's early 1945, and the end of World War II is still months away. A small unit of American soldiers faces a contingent of German troops in the Italian Alps. When a fierce snowstorm traps the Americans, the silver coin asks the soldiers to pay a steep toll if they want to survive the night. Wow. Now we got Sins of the Black Flamingo, number two of five. Cover there. Comes out July 27th. 
mature action and adventure crime and mystery horror sebastian harlow has discovered a supernatural treasure so insanely valuable that it changes everything he knows about life itself naturally he stole it <laughs> now miami's richest man now wants his property back and the black flamingo dead so harlow must turn to the swamp magic of old florida to protect himself okay now we got skybound presents after school number two of four Okay. Horror comes out July 20th. It's mature. Skybound's new horror anthology returns to teach those teens a lesson when another chilling with another chilling standalone story. Oh boy. Okay. Scratches to mark you, a feather to warn you, then it comes. According to urban legend, if you try to get rid of your baby, a monster stork will force you to keep it. But surely that can't be true, can it? Mm. Leia and her friends are about to find out about just how true it is in the Storkening. That's different. Okay. Now we got Slumber number five. This looks like another horror. There's a lot of horror stuff coming out from Image this month. The Summer of Horror. Okay, July 13th, it's out. Dark Humor, Horror, and Thriller. Mature. That's mature. That's mature. And that one's mature. Silver Coin. Okay, Stetson enters Ed's dreams and navigates through an Edwardian, uh, Edwardian uh, dream hotel populated by dozens of creepy Ed lookalikes in a desperate attempt to rescue his dreamscape from Valkyria. Valkyria. Valkyria's dark intentions are finally unveiled. Unveiled. Wow. All right. Okay, now we got Spawn number 332. That's a cool cover. July 27th, Superheroes. Spawn is in need of answers, and he will move heaven and earth to get them, literally. All right, and we got Steelwater, number 15. That's pretty wild. Let's see, what is this? July 20th, Whore. It's a new day in Steelwater. Lives have been changed, and the world is more open than ever. But in the future, but the future is in danger, and it's up to Daniel to save it. Now we got that Texas Blood, number 15. Wild cover there. Looks like a sock puppet. Okay, we got the cover B right there. July 6th, so it's out. Crime and Mystery, Supernatural. The snow falls endlessly in Wonderland, Part 2. The Sheriff's Office takes unconventional steps to keep Ambrose County safe as the incoming storm begins its onslaught. And we got a town called Horror, or a town called Terra, number 4. Okay, that's a wild cover there. Variant. July 13th, it's out last week. Horror. Conflict. Mature. All these are mature. Except for Spawn, it's teen plus. Okay. After learning the circumstances of his mother's disappearance, Henry agrees to enter another realm in order to find her. Yet this may also illuminate the depths of his father's betrayal. Back in the human world, Julie leaves home to search for her husband on her own. Oh boy. Wow. Now we got Time Before Time, number 14. Cool cover. Green Tones. Another one. This cover B. This comes out July 6th, so it's out. Crime and Mystery, Science Fiction. Their plan in tatters. Sebastian and his allies fight for survival risking everything to obtain the critical information that will lead them to Tatsuo and Nadia. The, the dramatic conclusion of the two-part story. Now we get Twig, three of five. Cute. Cover B down there. July 6th, it's out. Action and adventure, fantasy. As they continue their quest for the items that will hopefully save their world, Twig and Splat run afoul of the Trapper, a deadly hunter with nothing good on its mind. On its mind, look at that. And the Trapper is not the only menace waiting for them along their way. Part three of the new series. Okay. You got, okay, it brings the peril and, and keeps the adventure moving for our hapless heroes. Okay, now we got Unnatural Blue Blood, number three cover there. 
July 13th, dystopian romance thriller. What started out as a dream has turned into a nightmare, as the freedoms that were won, the peace and the quiet, become a faded memory. The question remains, will Leslie be able to endure the adversity this time around? Hmm, it's mature. Now we got The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 42. Wow. This come out, came out July 6th. A cover by um, David Finch. And we got variants down here. Man, oh man, it's mature. You get dark drama and horror. That's amazing. They're going to be doing. They're going to do every single one of these books. I think what's a, what's a, what was it? 150 issues, or something like that. 115 issues. Wow. Oh, and they're going to color every single one of them. So okay, the group mourns the loss of Carol. It's cool that she lived in. I like her. It's cool that she lived in a TV show, though. The group mourns the loss of Carol, but in this world, things continue on, and business with Woodbury is still unfinished. Okay. The deluxe rep presentation in stunning full color, color also features another installment of Cutting Room Floor and Creative Commentary. Okay, and the page is turned. Now we got The Walking Dead Deluxe number 43. Another cover there. Cover A, and there's cover B. Comes out July 20th. It's drama and horror. Mature. After barely surviving his encounter with Mich Michonne, the governor plots his revenge. Now we got What's the Furthest Place from Here, number 9. Different covers there. Cover A and there's cover B and C right there. Nice colors. Okay, we got July 27th. It's coming out. It's it's teen plus fantasy science fiction. How did we get here? And you may find yourself living in a record store. And you may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the walls of an unknown city. And you may find yourself in a beautiful field with a beautiful dog. And you may ask yourself... Well, how did we get here? Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that song. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Ultra Mega Face Orange Logo T on White. So that's that. On a white t-shirt. Show off your love for Skybound's hit series by creator James Heron with his eye-catching Ultra Mega Logo T. Wow, look at the sizes. The price is $33 for small to extra large, 100% combed and rung spun, ring spun cotton, 2x $35, 3x $37, and 4x $40. Bucks. Okay, we got Ultra Mega Pink Logo Small T on White. Hmm. Show off your love for Skybound's hit series by creator James Heron with his eye-catching Ultra Mega Logo T. Same thing. Prices are the same as well. All right. And that's it. I'll start Boom Studios next time. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to be picking up. And Collector Dude is out. Have a great day. and Or night. Whatever it may be. <laughs> All right. Collector Dude out.